Hi, I'm Pete, and welcome to Just a Few Acres Farm. Today I'm going to take you along with me as we go to the Ithaca Farmer's Market. Being a small livestock farm, we can't make a living selling into the commodity markets. Instead, we need to sell our meats and eggs directly to consumers. Most of this business occurs via the three farmers markets we attend each week. Farmers markets are a wonderful place for us, both in our interactions with consumers and other vendors. We're fortunate to live in a region where locally grown food is appreciated. So come on along with me as we go to the farmers market. Preparations for market start the day before. Hillary and I butcher chickens in the morning. In the afternoon, I pack the market freezers with pork, beef, and chicken. That way they're all ready to load onto the truck the next morning. Market morning starts at 6 a.m. It's too dark to do chores, so we eat breakfast first. Then it's out to feed the animals. One apple off the orchard for the pigs. We have to hustle to finish chores, as I need to be on my way to market by 7.45. I pack a big cooler with the fresh chicken we butchered yesterday. Fresh chicken, along with eggs, are our best selling items at market. I put as much chicken in the cooler as it will carry, and load all the eggs we have into another cooler. On a good market day, both coolers will be empty when I come back home. Then it's time to load the truck. All the signs, tablecloths, scale, and other booth setup materials go in the back seat of the truck. And the freezers, egg cooler, folding tables, and fresh chicken cooler go in the truck's bed. It's about as full as we can get it. The Ithaca Farmer's Market is in a beautiful location. It's not like a grocery store where you pull into a big open parking lot. Instead, there is a long driveway along which you catch small glimpses of the market pavilion until it is finally fully revealed in the last driveway. After I pull my truck up to my market stall, the first thing I do is head to the market office to pay Emily my daily booth fee. Here's my money. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a good day. You're welcome. Morning. Morning. Then I always take a walk around the pavilion to see everyone setting up their booths. The pavilion is completely empty at 7 a.m. and completely full by 9 a.m. when market opens. It's amazing how much work the vendors do in such a short period of time. Hey Buford, how are you? Hey. I'm making a video. You're the star of the video now. Hello. Is that a GoPro? It is. I'm making a vid. I, it's on, so <laughs> I hope that that's okay. Yeah. I'm making a video of the farmers market awesome. for our YouTube channel. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So this is Scott and Crystal. <laughs> Leather awesome. pottery and lots of grown things. <laughs> <laughs> then it's time to get my stall set up. Most of my regular customers arrive in the first two hours before the lunch crowd shows up and the market gets full of people. Oh, you're on the lakes? That's fine. I'll take a chicken. Actually, on my bicycle? It doesn't bother me so much. <laughs> Soon, cars are streaming into the parking lots looking for a spot. There are several long parking aisles separated by planted berms. It's much nicer than an open lot, but it can be tough to see where empty parking spots are. There is always plenty of live music, with different musicians playing throughout the day. London is almost always here with his guitar, and he is an amazing player. I could hear the rhythm from this band from my stall on the other end of the market.
Wherever you are in the market, you can hear music playing. It's a great addition to the atmosphere. Lunchtime is here, and the market is full of people. The crowds spill out onto the lakefront. Trees provide plenty of shade, and there are places for kids to play. It's a great spot to sit, relax, and have lunch. It's time to get my own lunch. I am a creature of habit. Hi, Alan. I'm coming down to get a salad. Every Saturday, this is where I go. I love the salads Ellen and her crew make, using many ingredients they've grown themselves. Get the finished product here. Thank you. I've been gone from my booth for too long. I head back for the afternoon. I would like to introduce you to my roving reporter, Ben. Hi, Ben. Hi. Ben, what's your favorite thing about Market? Well, I think that I like the food. The food? Yes. What kind of food? Mm, sugary treats. Ah. And fruit. That makes course. sense. Hi, what is your name? I'm Larissa. Nice to meet you, Larissa. What's yours? I'm Brian. Nice what is your favorite part of Market so far, guys? Uh, I would say this booth. Yeah. We get a lot of meat. <laughs> okay, good to know. Yeah. yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. Hello. Are you sad or are you happy? I'm always happy at market. Okay, show me a big, big smile. <laughs> Bigger. That's about as big as it gets. <laughs> My business starts to slow down at around 1 o'clock. The composition of the crowd has transitioned from grocery shoppers to sightseers. When things are slow, sometimes I visit with, or harass, the other vendors. How's business? Oh, it's spectacular. How come you were sleeping in the back then? Well, because I was bored. Oh. Two o'clock until three o'clock is the dead hour. I pass the time watching the people go by. I get pretty sleepy and my feet are sore from standing. This is all just part of market and I'm used to it. There won't be very many more sales today, so I decide to head down to the market office to interview Becca, the market manager. Becca, I have a few questions for you. Sure. So what does a market manager do? Um, well, we spend a lot of time helping to coordinate all of the behind the scenes logistics that happen here at Market. So um, helping vendors find their spaces, helping find new vendors, helping um, folks make connections, answering questions for customers, among a whole variety of things. And this is, it's really more than a full time job because the market here in Ithaca runs five days a week yeah. for the summer. Yeah, so. we're a pretty big market um, and we're a nationally known market as well. So there are a lot of people that come to our market from out of town. So we're a representation of our community. What time does your day start on a Saturday? On a Saturday, I get to market at 7 a.m. Um, we help the folks that are just getting here um, and starting to set up to make sure that their spaces are set, make sure the pavilion is ready. Um, and then by nine o'clock, everybody's here and set up and customers start to arrive and our customer service really starts to kick into gear. Yep, and you have your own farm to take care of, right? We do, yeah. So I'm up even, uh, even around 4.30 taking care of animals and doing chores usually before I get here. And I think that gives you some unique insights into what the vendors go through, the farm vendors. Yeah, I think it's really important for market managers to have an understanding of, of how critical these direct-to-consumer um, sales venues are to vendors. Um, I have had a lot of experience actually selling to customers at farmers markets, so I get both ends of the, um, the picture here. Becca, what's your favorite thing about market? Oh, I think my favorite thing about Market is definitely the community of people that are here. It's really great to get to know all the entrepreneurs and all the farmers and chefs and artisans and all these amazing people that have built their businesses and, and really made it a part of their life. And what do you do when you get home from Market? Oh man, I put up my feet and I go to sleep early. <laughs> I think Becca does a great job of juggling all her Market responsibilities. The reason Market runs so smoothly is largely because of her work. 
Well, three o'clock has arrived, and it's time for this movable feast to come down. It's been a good sales day, and I am ready to go home and relax. The Ithaca Farmers Market is a large organization. On any summer Saturday, there's almost 100 vendors inside the pavilion selling farm products, foods, and crafts. The market's been very good to us, and our success as a farm is tied to its success. I hope you've enjoyed following along with me to the farmer's market. See you next time.